the back. And it's like, oh, it's Clint Coffee. I'm like, what's that? And they're like, oh, we actually employ, we're a coffee company that employs people that have been to prison. And I'm like, no way. So like of all places, of all events for me to be at in Toronto, this, pe- this group of people is there. And one of the women that's working for Clint Coffee is someone who, has, who had gone to prison for the exact same thing as me. And that's when I was like, okay, I'm gonna help you guys with your social media. And so I helped them with social media and this girl became my, a really good friend and my advisor. I met like she was so helpful and helped me prep. So that's kind of what I'm doing now is paying it forward. Before I uh, went to prison, I thought it was going to be hectic and a lot of uncertainty. I was one of those people that believed every myth in the book. You know that you there's a lot of fights and you do a lot of drugs and all that stuff. I was like, oh my god, am I gonna have a girlfriend in there? I don't know. <laughs> you, know, I was just so much uncertainty. But when I got there, it was just so different. Uh, but I, and I sense this very, very quickly, like provincial jail is very similar to what it's like in the media, but federal prison was exceptionally different where it's like you live in a house and, you know, there are still, there are people that are convicted of very serious crimes, but they're not violent, like towards you, as long as you keep your head high and you, I, you know, follow three rules, which is don't talk shit. Don't rat on people and don't steal. If you just don't do that, you'll be fine.